I'm sorry. You know, he, he he came back and responded <laughs> and said, hey, man, you know, I understand why Canelo feels that way after losing to Bivol. You know, he said he wants all easy fights. And uh, I don't care if he respects me. I mean, I'm talking about his response. He might as well drop it to an ether beat. Duck Nello. What's up, niggas? Hey, yo, I know you ain't talking about me, dog. You? What? Duck Nello. You been on my dick, nigga. You love uh, my style, uh, nigga. Duck uh, Nello. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know what I'm lying. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Man, check this out. We have a lot of things to talk about, man. You know, uh, you know, we had an interaction with uh, Canelo and Big Turk. You know, this video is going to take a little minute because you know how we like to do things. We like to take everything piece by piece and put it all together, you know, as a whole system, you know, a holistic approach, if you will. You know, we're going to analyze it in its entirety, man. The entire situation going on, you know, and there's a lot going on. So, those of you that has been Keep it up, you know. Uh, uh, Cadello has a fight coming up with Edgar Berlanga, you know, and uh, Terrence Bud Crawford just finished the fight Riyadh season against Israel Madrimov. And, you know, Terrence Crawford is is, 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 is the ambassador for all of uh, Big Turkey's uh, endeavors, you know, boxing endeavors, particularly the ones that are international from Saudi Arabia, you know what I'm saying? Especially like the first starting with his infiltration of the U.S., you know, with the, with the fight that just happened in L.A. So he's considered the ambassador of all of uh, Turk's uh, uh, endeavors. So now, you know, Terrence Bud Crawford has been very vocal about wanting to pursue a bag and and, and and also simultaneously pursue greatness, right, by fighting Canelo, who's a much larger man as far as weight divisions go, you know, and mass and all that. And, um, you know, he, um, they, they reiterated that and, 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 and um, reached out to Canelo in regards to that fight. Right. And, um, you know, Canelo said, man, hey, man, you know, I'm focused on I'm focusing on Edgar Belanga right now. I don't want to talk about any future fights. Bow, bow, bow. You know, he, he responded uh, uh, in a fashion that's typical of a fighter that has a fight coming up, you know, similar in similar fashion. You know, Terrence Crawford, when he was talking about Canelo during during the build up to the Israel Madrimov fight, you know, once he secured that fight, he was like, no, I'm just focused on Israel Madrimov right now. So this is nothing atypical. Right. But. <laughs> Big Turk didn't think so, you know. I thought it was. I thought it was a good. Uh, Canelo responded in good fashion, how you should. But uh, uh, you know, uh, Turk Turk definitely disagreed. You know, he's not of concurrence with that with that idea. You know, he 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 came back and responded <laughs> and said, "Hey man, you know, I understand why Canelo feels that way after losing to Bivol. You know, he said he wants all easy fights, and uh, I don't care if he respects me. I mean, I'm talking about his response. He might as well drop it to an ether beat. You know what I'm talking about." <laughs> Duck Nello. What's up, nigga? Oh, oh man, but yeah. Oh. So let's read the statement in its entirety, you know, the full statement. So Turkey Alashik has said, I heard what Canelo said that he respects me, but doesn't like the way I do business. He said, as for him respecting me, it doesn't matter to me if he does or not. He said, and as for the way I do business, I know why he doesn't like it, because I only target big fights at fair prices. So, of course, anyone who likes easy fights won't like that. And I know how he feels after losing to Bivol. So he's been looking for easier fights ever since. Also, I'm not the one who's afraid of fighting Benavidez or Crawford. He said, therefore, I knew he was wasting our time and making excuses with big, with big amounts of money that can't be paid. He says, so I'm counting my way. I'm continuing, excuse me. He says, so I'm continuing my way to make big fights that serve the boxing world. And he's on his way to make it easy show only fights. Who the fuck you think you talking to? <laughs> Bro, hey, hey, Big Turk is not playing, you know what I'm saying? But now I will I will say this though. You know, can all this is sparked because like I said, Canelo seemingly did not jump at the at the first chance to work with Big Turk. But you know, he has a fight going on, but Big Turk is coming from the from the perspective of oh, he's just wasting our time. He doesn't really want these fights, you know, and he's just asking for an exorbitant amount of money, you know. He's trying to get as much bang for his buck, you know, make it as lucrative as possible. So on one hand, you can't blame Canelo because he's a face of boxer, but on the other hand, you can't blame Turkey because you don't want to, you know, you know, even though he's willing to pay big big amounts of money, uh, uh, you know, has been testified by other by other fighters, particularly Bud. Uh, he doesn't want to be feel like he's he doesn't want to feel like he's being taken advantage of. So I can understand both perspectives. But then to further the point, you know, Canelo was with Tia Fimo, and you know. Um, <laughs> Canelo said, why does a Teofibo fight, uh, why does a Bud fight Teofibo? He feels that Teofibo deserves a fight more than he does. Well, well, 
Crawford needs to fight Teofimo first, and then, and then we'll see, right? Uh, at the end. Bullshit! Bullshit! So you'd be, you know, talking tug in cheek and being a little, little slick with it. And but you know, let's speak about Teal Fibo real quick. You know, Teal Fibo was uh, 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 apparently banned from the presser for Terrence Crawford and Israel Madrimov. You know, so that he screams racism. No, but I think it's fucking full of racism in this motherfucker. Huh? Because when yes, it is because at the same time, and racism is in many different ways. It is not just by color, my man. It is in many different ways. And understand the acronyms on this. Hold on, little buddy. You know, I want to tell you this right now, man. People that don't like you, it has nothing to do with you being from New York. Yeah. It has nothing to do with you being American. It yeah. has nothing to do with you being from Honduras. Yeah. You know, it has nothing to do with you being Hispanic. Yeah. It's not racism. People don't like the things that are associated with you. People don't like you. It's not the things that are associated with you or affiliated with you. It's you. You know what I'm saying? It's not that people don't like any of your physical characteristics attached to your person people don't like your personality you're a dickhead and that's evident of how you how you just jump to racism because they don't they banned you they didn't ban hispanics they didn't ban hondurans they didn't ban new york new yorkers they didn't ban whatever else that you that that that, that that's attached to your to your existence they banned you because they don't like you yeah. <laughs> you know what i'm saying I have, I have i have honduran people in my family facts they don't like you you <laughs> But it doesn't matter. That's neither here nor there. I just want to clear that up because people be throwing around the term racism and don't even know what the what the what the word actually means. You know what I'm saying? What well, nothing racist about that. They don't like you, bro. Not too many people like you, bro. It is what it is, man. Ch change your personality, man. And, you know what I'm saying? Be more of a stand up individual. Don't say crazy stuff and talk out the side of your neck. And then people might like you. But anyway. Uh, so he said that Teal Feeble should fight him. With that being said, I think that Canelo is right. Not that Teal Feeble should fight that not that Bud should fight Teal Feeble. He fight him if he wants to, but there are some similarities there, right? Teal Feeble being a smaller guy, being an accomplished guy, being unified, a unified champion and all that stuff. If he's calling out Bud, who's a bigger guy, and Bud's not paying attention to him because he's a bigger guy, well that's exactly the same boat that Canelo is is in in regards to Bud. You know, Bud is very accomplished, much more accomplished than Teal Feeble. I'm not comparing their accomplishments. I'm just saying that they're both accomplished from that from that benchmark right there. They're both accomplished and they're and, and, and uh Teal Fimo and Terrence Crawford and Canelo's accomplished too, but Canelo is the bigger guy. So when Canelo tells Terrence Crawford that he doesn't want to fight him because he's much smaller, then it's, 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 it's very akin to Terrence Crawford saying that he doesn't want to fight Teal Fimo because he's much smaller. You know, um, so that 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 I do agree with that similarity, but I don't think Canelo is being serious. I think he was just, uh, you know, you know, uh, being sarcastic and talking trash to uh, Turk, Big Turk simultaneously. And I think that's why Turk responded like that. However, I will say this, though, those are the people, the people that are worried about, you know, um, a big turkey running boxing and stuff like that. I think he's been, he's been doing a phenomenal job. I've loved his inclusion in boxing so far, um, but it is a small sample size. It is a short period of time, um, but he does deserve a lot of credit for bringing us great fights, and I like it. But I do. I've always expressed a little fear of this notion that we need a one box, one governing body, or one boxing league. And those are the people that are that are afraid of that, are hesitant of that. This is kind of evidence of why. It would be troublesome, right? Because Big Turk has an issue with Canelo and it's clear that he was offended by Canelo not jumping to the first chance, not jumping at the first chance or stopping what he's doing to work with him. So he was offended. And now he seems like he said he's no longer willing. Apparently not, he, he has no, no, um, he, he has he has no drive, you know, and has no interest in working with Canelo in the foreseeable future. So what happens when he doesn't like somebody? What happens when they rub him the wrong way? I think that Big Turk kind of messed up, you know, as far as the public eye goes, because this, this demonstrates that he does take things personal and he's human. You know, we all we all do to a certain extent. But I feel like when you're a governing body, when you're a league, you should. It doesn't matter if the person is a good person or you consider them a bad person or you consider them a weak person or a strong person or somebody who's brave or somebody who who who, who avoids challenges. You know, what I'm saying looks for easy fights or great fights. You should try to cheat, treat everybody equally, you know, and fairly. But if you're going to cut somebody off because they don't want to bend to your will, like how we seemingly do in Canelo, then that is what I also fear that could happen in the league. Or what if what if what if Big Turk just suddenly he loses interest in boxing. What's going to happen? Boxing is going to be even more shambles. But I do think right now what we have seen, these are all fears, right? And you know, fear is an acronym for false evidence appearing real, right? So this is, none of this stuff has happened yet. The only thing that has transpired that's evident of something being bad with Big Turk is that he might cut you off if you don't do what he wants, you know? <laughs> 
<laughs> at the moment they want you to do it. So um, whether you agree with Cadello taking the money or not taking the money, or you agree with Big Turk taking the fence or not taking the fence, we do have to acknowledge the facts. And the facts is that, you know, if you offend Big Turk, he might cut you off. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. It ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. We all know the song. <laughs> so, you know, I, I do think that Cinnamon could do what he wants. And I think that Big Turk could do what he wants. But when they don't, when their intentions or desires or actions don't don't coincide, then it's going to put us at a stalemate, right? So if we were in a league that we could potentially not see Canelo fight anymore, you know, if it was all under Big Turk. And, or... If we continue how we're doing without Big Turk, then we wouldn't get the big fights like like Tyson Fury versus um, uh, um, uh, Alexander Usyk for the first undisputed heavyweight in in, in a quarter century, twenty five years. He did that, yeah. you know, with the first five v five, you know, with Matt Shroom and Queensberry, uh, uh, Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren, respectively. He did that. Yeah. Better be David Bivol, another undisputed light heavyweight uh, uh, battle. He did that. Yeah. You know, um, even though it didn't happen, it was just because it was postponed. And then also, you know, that 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 stacked card event that wasn't for casuals, that was for boxer purists because a lot of people didn't know the fighters. If you if you watch boxing, you're a pugilist enthusiast. You knew how phenomenal that that last card was with Terence Crawford, and Israel Madrigal from top to bottom with Isaac Pipo Cruz, Jose Vario Venezuela, Andre uh, um, uh, Andre uh, uh, Andy Ruiz versus Jarrell B Baby Miller. You know Jerry B Baby Anderson versus versus Martin Bacoli. You know uh, <clears throat> David Morrell versus Hot Rod Kaladzic, Andy Cruz versus um, Antonio Moran. You know how stacked that card was. You know, and those, and remember, it, it was supposed to have Tim Zoo and Virgil Ortiz, but injury postponed that as well. So I think that there's a lot of good things to take from this, and a lot of bad things to take from this. That's why you got to take everything in its entirety, man. You can't just look at the good, can't just look at the bad. You got to look at everything. So I do think that this is problematic uh, for how how he handled that Canelo situation. Is he right to handle it like that way because he's his own person? Of course, he can do whatever he wants, but it does seem like a little petty, you know. And 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 and, and yeah, and was he saying anything that was that wasn't true about Canelo? Canelo want an easy fight. Some people would say that that's the that's the truth. Uh, some people also say that Canelo has earned the right as a face of boxing to do what he wants because he has a fantastic, absolutely phenomenal resume. You know, with with all the accolades from beating from fighting Triple G three times, um, from from moving up to light heavyweight again uh, and fighting Kovalev, even though one 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 time he lost to Bivol, uh, for fighting Hall of Fame goats like like uh, um, um, uh, Floyd Mayweather, Sugar Shane Mosley, Miguel Cotto, etc. You know, all the way down to upcoming prospects like himself when he fought Austin No Doubt Trout. So so you cannot take away Canelo's accomplishments, but you know. It is a problem that he's not fighting Benavides, in my opinion, and it looks like it's mostly his fault. I think Benavides should take some of the blame, too, for being a, um, less than a consummate professional, you know, being slightly unprofessional by having his belt stripped due to weight and, and drug abuse, you know, that book of sugar ain't no joke, you know what I'm talking about? Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Um, and, and then also, too, but I think the majority of the blame goes to the sanction and bodies, you know, because the sanction and bodies, if you don't fight your mandatory, you should be stripped, you know, if that's the case, you know, but they're not enforcing that. So I think they should get the majority of the blame. But you can always point fingers. But, yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. Do you think Turkey uh, has a right to talk to, <laughs> to go in on Canelo like that? Do you think Canelo should have uh, complied with uh, with the request? You know, I think it could have been a mixture of both. I think that, um, you know. Canelo, uh, obviously, he's not in a rush, right? He makes money on his own. He doesn't need anybody. But, um, you know, Big Turk is helping boxing, but that doesn't mean that he's helping the individual like Canelo, you know? So so there's, there's, there's a lot of ways to look at it, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments, man. I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. But most importantly, don't forget, man, with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.